Hey guys, this is Jamin bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have a Toshiba Portage here, and I'm going to show you how to swap out a key on it. Uh, oftentimes, your keyboards are not easily um, replaced. They're not held down by screws. They're held down by plastic pins that break when you pull the keyboard off, which means when you put a new keyboard on, it's never quite as secure. So this is why I'm showing you how to, re how to replace keys as necessary and leave your actual keyboard intact so your computer stays secure. Um, sometimes you can't find these keys loose for sale on eBay or Amazon, so you have to buy an entire keyboard and then take a key off. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a key off safely and then how to put one back on safely. Um, if you wanna see how to take off a larger key like enter space, uh, shift, those are gonna look different. There'll be a video link below to show you how to do one of the larger keys. This is gonna be a normal size letter number type key. Uh, so any questions, leave them below um, and we'll get into it and we'll show you now how to take off the key safely. So I'm gonna take my flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna put it in between these two components. I'm gonna put it underneath my keycap, which is the top part, but I'm gonna put it on top of the retainer clip underneath. And by getting it in between these two, I'm gonna hold down the retainer clip while I'm taking this part off. So hopefully that retainer clip won't break as I'm peeling this off. So I'm gonna take it off now and then I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Slide it in there. Okay, so that came off kinda of easily. Uh, and as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down this clip. Now, this will look a little different based on what model you have. And unfortunately, even if you're do doing the exact same model, two different computers can have two different clips. Unfortunately, it's not a standard part, so it's kind of a pain. But they'll all be laid out just like this. Uh, you'll have the rubber component in, in the center that pushes your keycap back up after it's been pressed. That's only held on by glue, so be very careful not to rip that up. They're a real pain to get back down. The retainer clip will usually be white or black, and it will be two parts that fit together in the center to form this clip that accordions up and then lays flat. Now they'll generally be held down the same way too. I have four metal pins near all four corners. Rarely you'll have a computer with one metal pin in the center on one side, giving you a total of three pins, but usually they'll have a total of four near all four corners like this one does. Now in order to get this up, I'm going to locate my pins that are closest to the edge. Yours may be the bottom, but in this computer it's the top. These are the closest to the edge. And what I'm going to do now is press up with my fingernail as much as I can, even though there's not a lot of room in there. And as I'm pressing up to get as much wiggle room as I can, I'm going to slowly and gently try to pry the plastic out from under these metal pins. And once I get it up, I'll, I'll show you why we're being very careful at this part and what we're trying not to break. So I'm gonna push up, try to pry that up. Okay, that side's good. Up, try this side up. Turn this around. Okay. So actually it's good that you've seen this. Unfortunately, my clip came undone. See the two parts came undone there. But I'm gonna just Put those back together real quick. Again, they're two parts and they fit together in the center with those two plastic pins. So I'm just gonna get one inside that end first. Kind of pain in the butt, they're such small components. There we go. So this is what you're looking at here. So this is what I was trying not to break. If, if you see here, these two tiny, tiny holes near the corners, that's the plastic that was underneath those metal pins. Very thin, very breakable. And that's what I was trying to pry up from under the metal. And if you don't pry it up gently enough, you can just rip those plastic pieces right out and then this won't lay flat and your key won't be secure. So that's a real pain. And then when these two components came undone from each other, the inner clip, have, has two little plastic pins that go out that fit into tiny, tiny holes on the outer clip. Those also are very breakable. Basically, this is a gigantic, very thin plastic breakable part, so be very careful with this procedure. But that's how you would take a, a key up safely. Now to put it back down safely, we're gonna go in reverse. I pried the top up first, so now I'm gonna put the bottom down first. So I'm just gonna lay that in there, try to get it nice and flat. I'm gonna to try to get the bottom up underneath its metal pins, 
nice and flush, make sure it's centered, and then when I'm sure it's in the right spot, all you should have to do is press down on the corners and snap them back in, just like that. So that's snapped back in now, you bring your key cap back over, again you get that lined up as best you can in the center, and when you're convinced you have it, you just press, and that snaps back in, just like that. So that's how you would uh, successfully remove and install a key. Again, if you want to look at the larger keys, enter, space, shift, check out the video link below in the description. Uh, that'll be a link for how to do those larger keys because they got different things going on underneath than what you just saw. Uh, like and share if this was helpful. Leave me a comment if you need any help. And uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks for watching, guys.